This is Twit. Um, so ever since, well, not ever since they announced it, but for the past year or two, whatever, I've, I've wanted to try GitHub Copilot, the original Copilot, right? Um, and I always figured at some point with this project that I would use it, if only to do some sort of a code review, code quality review, like uh, point like a, a method at it and say, could this thing be more efficient or written in a cleaner fashion or whatever, not ever having used it. So I have not written this up yet. I just experienced this. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, but I think it was yesterday. Um, back in December, they made a free tier of GitHub Copilot. So you can actually use this for free. It works a lot like that thing we were talking earlier, where you get a certain amount of credits um, every mm -hmm. month. And then, you know, you can do a certain number of code completions, a certain number of uh, chat interactions, et cetera. And if you keep using it and you find you're running into the limits, you can just pay for GitHub Copilot. So I was like, okay, this is, this is not going to hurt me to try this. So I should try this. I want to be super clear about this because it's going to sound like an exaggeration. This might be literally black magic. I have never, especially in the scope of AI, which we all know about hallucinations and all the problems and in the world in which it's the what, most mature product, it? it is the most mature product. And, yes. Same. And part of it is that thing I sort of always suspected. And I do still think is true, which is when you ground the, thing in just a subset of you know it's not going out to msn for the latest news it's like look we need to know how c sharp works we need to know how these programming uh, frameworks work etc it's building on a very finite data base if you will so yeah it's got a scope yes. to it that makes sense now look i'm not a professional programmer but that was the point i thought the first thing i did with it was i i selected a a method that did a thing and had whatever code. And I thought, and I, I can't remember how I worded it, but I just said, make this more efficient or faster or better or whatever it was. I forgot to check a box that was, that would have deselected or had it ignore the rest of the document. Um, so it actually ran against the entire thing, which is the main C sharp file in this project. And it came up with a bunch of stuff. And uh, some of them were like curious and subtle. And some of them were stuff I kind of knew, like, you know, uh, getting rid of redundancies. I, mm -hmm. I went through a big effort to make the code more modular, but it had more suggestions along those lines. All very good. And I was like, okay, I like just for this, like, this is amazing. There was a really, I can't even explain this. It was like a, there's a list, uh, a construct I'm using in C sharp to collect all of the state management stuff that I'm working on for the app. And it suggested this other thing, which is really subtly different, but in fact will work better with WPF controls, which I will be doing in the future when I add tabs. And I was like, yep, uh, genius. Okay. So I was like, this is nice. This is good. Like, I was like, already, I was like, okay, I 100% get this. But then I started just working on new stuff. I wasn't thinking about Copilot. And here's the thing like, I'm trying to imagine what this would be like in Word if you were writing like a, a document, but in I'm writing code. And I mm -hmm. am writing what's going to be a block of code that's going to do a thing. It's going to iterate through this object and reach into parts of it and pull whatever bit out. I know what I'm going to write roughly. And what I mean by that is I don't know the exact code as I write it, but I know as I do it, I will, I'll, I'll do it. The sort like, of shape gonna, of things, right? Yeah. Like I have the idea. So I start right. I, I, I swear to God, I, I don't want to exaggerate. Like I said, I typed, I want to say two characters and it didn't just auto complete the line. It auto completed the code block that it could not have known I was going for. Like it literally it read my mind. Yeah. And I was like, I you've uh, it's kind of Yep, that's exact. I was like, That's it. That's 100%. It, it wrote it. And I was like, Holy, I mean, are you kidding me? And then over the course of the next hour or two, I, I was so excited about this. I told my wife, who I got to be honest, could not care less. She puts up with it. I'm trying, I'm mm. so excited. I'm like a Truly. little kid. And the only thing I can equate this to is um, I watch a lot. I think I said this earlier in the show. I watch a lot of these kind of animal videos on um, like YouTube and uh, Instagram, whatever. The, the one video I saw recently, this is exactly the reaction, the, the, the interaction. It was a video of cats being shown magic. <laughs> and the cats react exactly as they should their reality has been destroyed and it scares the living daylights out of them. So when, in many cases, it's just a trick, like the, the cord is gone or the whatever, it is, like a normal magic trick. And the cats like jump and run out of the room and they freak out and they lose their minds. 
And that was literally the reaction I had to this because look, I'm a skeptic, I'm a cynic. <laughs> And I, and I was like, look, all I could hope from this is that it will improve the quality of the code, which it absolutely needs. And it, it is like you it was reading my, my mind. mind. I couldn't believe it. How do you think so, it did that, by the way? I think it literally read my mind, Leo. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. No, I don't. Kitty I cat. don't. I mean, I, <laughs> so, okay. So I, I, I'm leaving out a few details, but the- uh, It, it, kinda, it one, must have known from previous code what you were on your way to do. That could be part of it. In one case, I did yep. write a comment before I wrote the block. Uh, Okay. So it's mm -hmm. possible it looked at that and said, "Okay," but there were no, but there were multiple examples to a where to describe what you intend to do, and it spits the code out. And, and it wasn't. I want to be clear. I wasn't even thinking of Copilot. I was just the comment is the prompt with, says out of sync, and I think that that's accurate. It, when you write a comment, you're actually writing a prompt. Okay, I I, mm -hmm. I I accept that. I'm just what I'm saying is I didn't know that at the time, and then it wrote the code block, and I'm like, what is happening? And neither, then neither did the Siamese cat. In this, yeah, just how yep. it works. I Where did the quarter go? Analogy. Where's the quarter? Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, I uh, listen. Uh, not a professional developer, I want to highlight that again. But if you are a developer and you've kind of poo-pooed this, I'm just saying yeah. it's free. No, it's amazing. You look at it. Look at no, it. It's I'm, unbelievable. I'm, I'm talking to teams now where. If the, the developer's not using Copilot, it's not like they, they won't hire them. It's like they immediately like, we need to teach how to use this. Are you writing code on a parchment? How are you doing work? <laughs> yeah. You know, like I, I you brought your chisel. It's, it's, right? it's fascinating to me because it's slowly spreading throughout all our shows. Steve Gibson had the same experience mm -hmm. okay. with assembly revelation. Yesterday, Jason Snell said, I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I can't, I can't remember what model he was using. I think ChatGPT knows yeah. AppleScript. Ch uh, yeah. So uh, uh, Apple Cl Cloud which is, is good at this too. Anthropic Cloud. I one of the first Cloud does very well. Yeah. The very first thing I ever did was I had written uh, the C sharp class for this coming thing I'm doing, and I published or I wrote about it. And then that day they announced an update to Cloud, and they they said specifically like it's better for program. I'm like, oh, let me give it a prompt and say I want to I want to make this class. What does it look like? It made exactly. It was right. almost letter. It was almost identical, and that was good for me because it kind of verified that I had written the right thing, unless right. we both hallucinated somehow. Um, for validation from software, you yeah. already in trouble. Uh, but, you know, but... Like, I mean, it, to be the skeptic, one of the reasons this works so well is because mm -hmm. it has a massive database of code, yeah. and the code is oral. extraordinarily repetitive. Yeah. So, oh, my God, of course. But somebody listen, else has I, written that many, many times, and so right. it's not, a, you know... And all the more reason you shouldn't write it again, let the tool do its job. Precisely. You're, re you're reading Precisely. through a database mm -hmm. on a loop, but you want every third one. Right. Is there an efficient way to do that? You're not the yes. first person to do that. <laughs> I know that. But I do what everyone else does. I Google it. I usually end up at stackoverflow.com. Steal their code. I, yeah. ba, 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 ba. <laughs> nope, not that one. But it takes me time. This one I just said, yeah. four. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, oh, you want a loop? Okay. I didn't say anything about every third one. It's like, yeah, four. Saying three, blah, blah. I'm That's like, hysterical. you're kidding me. It was, un really it was unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Yeah. Um, just, I, you know, just this thing. is, this is, uh, on the one hand, it is magic. On the other hand, we are cats I know. <laughs> and, and we don't, we are, there, there are some things that might make us feel a little bit less magical about it. Like the fact that this is really based on code that's been written many, many, many times. And so. No, but even that, but that's the convenience, right? In other words, like I said, we could, oh, it's usually convenient. all of us have done this. We've Googled it. I've been honestly. saying this for two years. I've been using chat TBT for my comments. Yeah, but now that code. I've seen it, it's real. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I think it's cool. That I, it, it's actually better. Talks, no. The older the language, the better, right? And that yeah. also is consonant with the idea that it's actually it, the more yeah, in the data um, space, right. yeah, I don't know if they're older, but size of data set. Matters. Size of data This set, came up yeah. with yeah. Uh, one of your shows, Richard. I think it uh, probably uh, .NET Rocks, and it was probably mm. the guy who, the guy who used to run Flutter. Um, forgetting his former Microsoft. Oh, yeah, Chris Sells. Chris Sells. He was mm. saying, you know, one of the problems with Flutter is that, you know, in the .NET space, which is what I'm working in, if you Google something, there's a million, because this stuff goes back 20 years, there's a million. Yeah. Of it. But if you need some work, help with like Flutter or one of these newer frameworks, probably. Exactly. Uh, it, it's a, there's less. You a know? lot of data, data right. set is very limited. And, yeah. So, I mean, yes, that, that might have helped too. But I look, <laughs> well, if you're working also, in Visual like, Studio. And, TCL's been around a long, long time, but there's not a lot of open source TCL. Right. right. Yeah. Right. right. It's really what was the data set available to it. Yeah, it's a, yeah, so that's another I, thing. Use an open source language like uh, Common Lisp. I, it's really well, interesting I, to me that AppleScript, which is 
a terrible language and weirdly arcane. <laughs> It turns out these AIs are very good at writing, and he used the code unmodified. Well, that's great, though, because you need the help with something like you that. Need well, you need it. We need it everywhere. You know, I, I, up your head. Yeah. Intellis, or <laughs> Intelli what, do you, what do you call it in Visual Studio or even Intellis or Office, I think? IntelliSense. Yeah. Sense. When it yeah. does autocomplete or whatever, mm -hmm. it's one of the nice things about Visual Studio. You, you Object name, dot, list. You're like, yeah, yep, want that one, dot. But, you know, you kind of go from there, right? It's, it's a nicety. It's more than an IC, honestly. Once you start using something like that, you kind of wonder, God, how did I do this before? You were breaking open a book, looking up the slowly. list of properties and stuff. Right. You did. Yeah, slowly. So this to me is an not an order of magnitude, but it's the same level of, yeah. oh my God. And then well, I mean, but, I, yeah, you see this reaction when someone uses Telesense for the first time, especially an experienced coder, and they're like, Yeah. What the what? Okay. Yeah, no, it's I I this will benefit anybody who mm -hmm. uses these products. Like it's, it's incredible. Mm, um, and yeah. I've not had this reaction to any AI, <laughs> anything about writing or, well, although the poem thing in notepad is amazing, but other than that, <laughs> that's on hands on windows, by the way. Uh, it's, um, it is amazing. It's stupid. It's useless, but it's, it's amazing. But this is just incredibly immediately useful. and obviously a huge productivity booster that absolutely justifies the cost if you're going to oh, pay dude, for it. Dude, I wrestle around with like razor pages for the run as site and the, mm -hmm. and have copilot. It's like, where is X? And it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah. in, this, it's in this stupid yeah. header yeah, file. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay. It's, it's excellent. Yeah. It, I, and look, anyone who's watched this show for any amount of time knows I don't talk about like this about almost anything. <laughs> it is amazing. Baltharot making happy noises? What is that? I know. That? I don't even know how to handle it. I'm like, what is that feeling? It's like you're happy. <laughs> is that what this feels like? Why aren't I like this all the time? <laughs> um, the no, I mean, it's awful. Yeah. Well, that's I, right. Thank you for reminding me. Um, but yeah, no, it's, but it's, I, I can't, I'm just going to repeat myself. It's a revelation. Sorry. It's amazing. It truly is. Yeah, it really is. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.